he's sneaking in the next back in the house house of the back back in my house today guys we have manjaro 18.13 but the deep in version now this is the community version okay so it's not an official one and i thought i'd go and give it a go because it was you know, tweeting out there when it tweeted to me went sneaky i'm tweeting to you let's do it let's do it let's do it <gasps> oh no i don't know i just couldn't help myself i just couldn't help myself so anyway let's have a look so anyway i do like manjaro and sneaky boy runs it upstairs on his own desktop for playing games i gave him the choice he went through loads like a, a young person this day and age they don't like to have stuff and do stuff and spend time doing stuff but he settled on manjaro because it comes with the latest drivers and he gets all the latest stuff and in defense of manjaro he's only broke it on kde he's had xfc running no problem for quite a while with the latest drivers on his old banger machine but he can play csgo and stuff so he's fun so anyway i thought i'd give a go with deepen now as i said it's a community version so it's not officially supported yeah. now i don't mind deepen but i'm not sure if it's for me personally this would suit quite a lot of people uh, yeah, so we'll have a little look. So I've enabled one of the shortcuts at the corner there. If we come up here, it doesn't actually come with all the stuff that's here. It comes with really the basics. I've installed loads, okay, just to make sure they all run. I've also updated the kernel, yeah, okay, the latest kernel. So I've installed LibreOffice. Yeah, we go. Zoom. It works, okay. It works. And this is what the general user needs. Works. Not, they don't care like me and you what kernel it's running and what desktop environment it is it has to look nice and work okay and not be slow mind you i went and ran down a windows 10 uh, repair the other day <sighs> so slow it was so slow i think boot up took around about four or five minutes before we even started but remember windows 10 is not really made for older machines they want you to have a new machine but anyway we're linux we don't do that so what is different here? So we have add and remove software. Now remember, Manjaro is based on Arch. Now remember, I say based on Arch. It's not pure Arch. So pure Arch users will be uh, shooting spears at me now and stuff and arrows and going me 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 me. Yeah, I know, mate. I know, I know, I know. But this is not aimed at you. It's not aimed at pure Arch users that want to build this stuff. We're trying to get people on Arch-like systems and see if they like it. And then they, maybe they'll come more into community. So anyway. This is the software center. You've all seen it before. You can just put in something and it will come out of it. So a photo video, look. GIMP is there, I've already installed it and I'll show you a bit more of that a little bit later. Simple screen recorder I'm recording now, so you can see it. 3D LUT maker. Never heard of that one, okay. Also, I think it comes with LVM by default, by the way. And the version of Deepin is 15.11. Now the standard kernel it comes with, is 5.3.14 now i upgraded that now where did i do that so let's go try settings oh, that's the one Ooh, got it right at that time let's open my kernel we're now using 5.4.1 hash 2 or hyphen 2. it runs okay there are a couple of little problems graphically okay that i'm not sure that were there with the previous kernel but hey yeah we'll have to wait and see and I, you'll probably come to see one of those in a minute i'll tell you what We'll do it now. Okay. If I scroll down, when you install stuff, by the way, it goes at the bottom. It doesn't go alphabetically, which is a bit of a pain, but I'm sure you can change that. Okay. So I open up Gimpage. The reason it's loaded so quickly, remember this is the test machine, mechanical drives only, is I opened it up earlier before I've done the video, so it knows what I'm doing. And that's okay, isn't it? What about if I minimise that and try and get another window open? So if I go to help, and about will it happen now okay it's not happening now so I've restarted the machine I'm going to close that make that full screen go help again and about okay guys the machines actually updated since I restarted what was happening is we get a black area around this screen and it will go bang basically well, it wouldn't go bang you could still use it and close the screen but you just like get a black area and I didn't like that okay so one up for Manjaro. Hmm, nice. Okay. 
What else is different here? Okay. If you have deep in before, it's got a little control center. So on the side here, what I had to do here, okay. I had, I've done this video twice, I guess, actually. It actually supports my desktop microphone. And normally I have it up here, okay. When I went and done the video, it was so loud, it was distorting, so I've had to redo it, basically. Not a problem. Mm. All I would say is when you are setting up your audio, make sure you get your line out. I'm using line out here. I'm not using HDMI or anything like that. And your input to where it's supposed to be. Not multi-channel, okay? Not multi-channel. Otherwise, it ain't gonna work, okay? It wanted to see my microphone as a speaker. Oh no, couldn't help yourself. Anyway, this is the system we use on. It's the main test system now. <clears throat> So we've got other stuff going in there. Remember I'll say again, mechanical drives only, so some things will be a bit slower. But for general users, you're not going to see any difference. So as you can see, it's 18.13, yeah, 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 64-bit. It's the 5960, we've got 32 gig of RAM. So it's all running hunky-dory, really. Hunky-dory. Just certain bits I'm not quite sure I like, to be honest. So, one of them. I don't know if it's the version of Firefox, but if I go here, let's see if it happens now. If I type in eBay, and I click here, ah, it's not done at that time. Before I updated, it wouldn't let you go there. So obviously by restarting, I think it's on Hunky Dory. Yeah, I'm really stupid, aren't I? I'm the stupidest of stupid. Okay. Now the, the official versions of Manjaro are here, I'm going to show you. A little drinkage. XFC, which is a sneaky boy, that's what he's running upstairs, old loopy. KDE, he went mental, he had, he had a mash out because it, he liked it, but the, it just went <laughs> and he went, oh, I've had enough of that. Bearing in mind he's not 15 yet, his birthday is in about 20 days. Known, oh, I feel dirty. <laughs> so, oh, I was trying that pop OS the other day and I felt really dirty because it was getting really good. I'll go shower in a minute. And you get Architect, <clears throat> which I think they've used to do this actually. They've used a net installer and put all their stuff on. Yeah. Oh, why is that bad? Way? See, sometimes that doesn't work correctly. Uh, I've also installed. Oh, that's what I want to show you. I'll go back to here. Where are we? Uh, blah, 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 blah. It's here. It's here somewhere. The Manjaro Application Utility. Those of you who have used um, Linux Lite or MX17-18-19 will recognise this, or this sort of thing. It gives you a group of applications that you probably want to install. So the, the initial download is quite small, then you can add what you like. So what I did here, I went to browsers, like, and so I installed, Firefox is installed by default, but I installed Brave. Never used it before in my life, because I ain't got time, I've got so much going on in my life, I ain't got time. What we'll do, we'll say, you know what, we'll have Chromium, so we're going to tick there. Office apps. Well, Abbey Word and Genumeric. Old school, but you know what, they work every time. Not necessarily Abbey Word, but Genumeric is fantastic. So we're going to tick that. And this is where I install GIMP from, obviously. They can have Inkscape, Critter, Pinter, and Tux Paint. There are more, obviously. Yeah. I installed Google Chrome for the simple reason I wanted to get the AUR working which is the Arch User Repository. Now remember, when you're using stuff from this, it has to build it, and it may go bang. Okay, it's entirely up to you. So when you're using the AOR, please remember it might go <laughs> over the top. Anyway, video and movie. <clears throat> VLC, got to be done. When I install VLC via the software thingy, I'm going to call it a thingy. I like thingies, it's good. It pulled down loads of other stuff with it as well. And it also asks you if you want other stuff to go with it. But yeah. That's a bit of a thing. Okay, audio. Audio. Gosh, go this one. You get the choice in this section, the application utility of Audacious, Clementine, Dead Beef, Lollipop, Lollipop, and Redom. I'm saying. Now, where's Guadalq? Yeah. Where's, yeah. Just, just where's Guadalq? Oh, I still love Guadalq. It's not been developed anymore. Somebody let me know. And the media <laughs> recording and editing. Obviously, I've ticked everything there. Chat, you can do what you want. Yes, by the way, you can get Spotify on here. I think it's in the AUR. Yeah. So we're going to update the system. We've added them a couple of things. So if you click on update, 
Oh, uh, what do I, uh, no, I don't need that for Wayland, do I? Uh, no, I don't need that. Okay. For Clementine, I want all of them. Yeah, because I've got a lot, lot of stuff. I need a different word then. But you numeric. Well, it's Python two. Oh, okay. We'll have, we'll have all them. Next, anything else? What's my password? Of course. And I know. And off we go. And I'm not getting that blackout now since I rebooted the system. So it wants to download all that. I'm going to apply. I'm going to go to details. There's only 96 megs to download. So that's super. I'm so pleased that worked itself out actually. Because on the previous what tried for the video, that was a really bad point. Okay, didn't like that. Didn't like that whatsoever. So we're downloaded. We're doing some stuff. Sminky Pinky. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It does its stuff. I have a quick drinkage of some mm, nearly Christmas cider, but I can't call it Christmas cider. It's um, autumn cider. Mm. Mm. We're done already. Oh, okay. Look at that. We're ready to go. Now, in theory, when I open my applications, they're all going to be down here. <clears throat> Clementine will be here. Gina... Oh, I do love Gina Merrick. Takes me back to a different place when I had hair. And it weren't great. Okay. Yeah, so your spreadsheet utility, generic, is there. Open it up down there. Chromium is here. We just downloaded it. That's yeah, easy. Free Office. I downloaded that as well. It was here, so I downloaded it. You know? What, why not? Just download it. I'll go to the NVIDIA settings, and you can see what driver we're using. Oh, hunky dory. Yes, thank you very much. 43031. That's super. Yes, of course, I want to quit. Nice. Now, for me, personally, after using Pop! OS, this is slightly slower, in my personal opinion. So, I'm not sure if I'd want to use it for me, but I know a lot of other people that would love to use it. Yeah, really, really love to use it. Because it's simple and to the point. Remember I said I'm not really fond of elementary? This is another one of those ones, really. Elementary, if I gave elementary to any of my um, colleagues at school, they'd be really happy with it. The same as Manjaro Deepin, they'd be really happy. They think it's a Mac, but it's not. And yet it's cost like, it's no money, yeah? They've got the same experience. So, they've got the bar down here, this here, I know that's happening in Mac, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. Excuse me. Bit of a bit of Anyway. On the whole, when Gyro Deepim, <laughs> with the new kernel, is running super fine. Should I, should I annoy... You know what? I'm going to annoy Ghosty. I'm going to open the HTOP up, okay? And this is not just to pay you off, mate. It's okay. I've noticed since the new kernel that the RAM uses has gone down. Okay, And I've got lots of stuff going on. That's gone down from the average of around about 1.4 to 1.6. Remember, I'm doing it in 1080p, 60 frames a second. It's gone to 1.2. That's quite unheard of, really. So the guys doing the kernel are obviously doing something right, and we should go, go, how hell, kernel developers? You know what I'm saying? Of course you do. Hello. Manjaro Deepin, Community Edition. I'll add that again, just in case you forgot. It's not for intermediate or advanced users. But if you're just coming into the Linux ecosphere, where we don't charge you money for whatever you want, whatever you look like, or whatever it, what you want it to look like, it could be for you. It's just not what I want to use at the moment. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.